we're gonna pull off the skirting. We're gonna clean the underbelly. This is a tough one. In identifying a community and what your plan is going to be, you really got to figure out what you want to do with these homes. Those aren't really mobile home park equipped shoes that you're wearing. Do you you know, know, I wouldn't walk around with you yeah. anywhere but these mobile home parks with those shoes. I'm just saying though, that, that light purple and, you know, that pink. So we did a pretty big eviction here. Um, we have a handful of homes that we've, we've either taken back from prior owners or they were here when we purchased the park. Um, we had some squatters in here. So the process has been, we take the home back, board it up. And now that we have pretty much the resident base here that we're gonna be sticking with, we're gonna now go back into cleaning up some of these homes, renovating them, pulling the power, pulling the plywood off, and turning these homes around. You want to pull off the skirting so someone could look underneath? Yeah. Okay. We're going to pull off the skirting. We're going to clean the underbelly. In identifying a community and what your plan is going to be, you really got to figure out what you want to do with these homes. You're either going to fully remodel the home, soup to nuts, spend the money, and then you're gonna get a certain type of buyer, or you're going to do the absolute minimal, clean up, make sure that there's no leaks in the roof, make sure whoever your new buyer is going to be has a clean slate to work with. That's what we're identifying here, whether or not we're gonna go all the way on the home, or wh whether or not we're gonna clean it up, sell it at a discount to someone who's looking to put the money and time in to renovating their home. So what we're doing here is we're ex assessing the exteriors of these homes. The ones that are rehabable from the interior, we're gonna do an outside cleanup. We're gonna paint or put vinyl siding, clean out the interior and exterior, all new skirting, new decks. We're gonna set it up to be sold to someone who's looking to buy a nice fixer upper, but we're gonna give them all the tools that they need. A new roof, new siding, skirting, and decks. Oh man, that's a tough one. You know. What does your gut tell you? My gut tells me for what we want to do here, it could be, I wouldn't put siding on this home. So if you're buying a mobile home for an investment, some of the key factors to look at, number one, check the roof, see if there's any leaks. It's easy to identify looking at the ceilings. Number two, soft spots on the floor, which, which could indicate water damage, leaks from somewhere that haven't been addressed, water coming in that's creating problems down the road. Those are issues that you have to identify and address. If you want more information on, in mobile, on investing in mobile homes, download our ebook at the mhpexchange.com. If you have questions, reach out to us. We're happy to help, the mhpexchange.com.